Uh, well, I'm Joe Thompson. This is Leroy Petrie and Kyle White. They're Medal of Honor recipients. And we're here talking about the 2022 Medal of Honor convention that'll be coming uh, to Knoxville. One of our great partners, Case Knives, has been a longtime partner and supporter of uh, the Congressional Medal of Honor Society and our Medal of Honor conventions. We just want to introduce uh, Leroy and Kyle to the group. We're pleased to be here. I know uh, I was at the last convention in 2014 and Case Knife supported us then with an uh, immaculate uh, gift that they gave us. And I wish you all could see where we are right now. We're surrounded by knives in a huge room, tons of knives. and. Uh, I'm worried about getting y'all out of this room. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, I'm I'm excited that they're uh, continuing their support in the upcoming convention in September and bringing my fellow recipients out to uh, share the joy and the smiles with the community and involvement with the kids and the veterans and the patriots and it's going to be a good time. Absolutely. Um, <clears throat> back in 2014, the last time the convention was in Knoxville, I unfortunately was wasn't able to attend, but uh, Case ended up sending me, you know, everything that they gave the recipients that did attend. So it was like, well, I didn't have to go through the pain, but I still got, you know, the cool stuff. Yeah. So uh, it, it was great. But, you know, being here um, in this room and just uh, at uh, Case Sales Office is, is a pretty cool experience for me personally, just because, you know, I have a connection growing up. Uh, I've had probably about a dozen Case Knives over the years, and, uh, you know, I can remember a couple of memories, but really one. Uh, being that my grandfather had a, a case knife he always used, and I'm not sure what happened to it you know, after his death, but um, something I always remember, you know, him cutting open boxes, working on projects, he always had that knife with him. And then uh, that, that same hardware store, I used to buy all my knives, you know, over the years. And so um, it's it's interesting coming back to a place where, where it all happens and, and feeling that connection and those having those memories. And so it's great to be here. It's great to be in the community in Knoxville. Um, people are really pulling out the stops for the entire convention, and we're thrilled to be here in September. Get a chance to connect with you know the larger community and, and really enjoy a great few days of, of community and, and hospitality, and really just giving back and sharing the story of the Medal of Honor. It's always it's always great to see the the companies that uh, come out and have the patriotism and the support and have the values and share that same commitment of what it means to be an American and how grateful we are in this country and to give back and show thanks. It's really important uh, for the Medal of Honor recipients like working with companies that respect the military uh, and that love America. And certainly uh, you've got an iconic name like the Congressional Medal of Honor, but also Case Knives, and it's just, it's been a great match. But uh, just to take it in a little different direction, let's talk about y'all's uh, individual stories, just short versions, you know, the story. And I'll, I'll start with Leroy first. And Leroy's got the, you know, the mechanical. No one likes to sit next to Leroy in any of these interviews because he can turn his hand. Play know, a mean and, game of mercy. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean that, no one wants to go to school visits with Leroy. But. <laughs> um, Memorial Day 2008, we were tasked to go after a high-value target in Afghanistan. And as we went out on helicopters, we took contact coming off the ramp as we were clearing one of the buildings. Uh, we needed to clear the adjacent building and, and the courtyard. And as I got a bump up, we started to move. I got shot through both my upper thighs. The guy behind me got shot just below his arm pit on the left side, but he followed me behind the building. We were pretty much pinned down there shooting around the building and uh, I was prepped a grenade, threw it over the building. It went off, bought us a low and fire. Another ranger came running over. Immediately I told him, watch that corner. I was watching my corner. The uh, building was probably about as wide as this backdrop, about six, seven feet wide. And um, staying on my radio as I checking on my guys, watching my corner. And as I went back to do one of my checks, there was a grenade sitting next to him. And reached over, grabbed it as I was throwing it away. It exploded and took the hand completely off. Uh, sat up, put a tourniquet on it, checked on my guys. They both got minor shrapnel. They both uh, went on missions the next day and uh, moved on with their lives after their service in the military and have kids and they're doing well. But um, and you saved their life. There's, there's still that, that's the mo that's the most important thing um, that they're still here and they were able to continue their lives. Um, but uh, after that, ran to the medics, uh, got better back, put in the uh, litter, and stayed in the military another six years, taking care of the wounded, ill, and injured, and got out in 2014 and continued 
uh, the selfless service helping out anywhere I could with youth, law enforcement, first responders, veterans, and uh, back with the military. As the president of the Congressional Medal of Honor Society, how excited are y'all to come back to Knoxville? I, I am extremely excited. Um, just seeing what, getting a sneak peek at what's to come. Uh, I know I haven't seen everything, but uh, from what it looks like, um, I'm excited to tell my fellow recipients this is going to be one not to miss. And, you know, my favorite question is, uh, you know, with, with your hand here, you know, I saw a kid ask you one time, what would you do different? I would have probably thrown it with my left hand because learning to do everything left-handed has been a uh, pain in the butt. Yeah. I'm just joking. I, I, I threw left-handed for the first time, and uh, it was ugly. I probably wouldn't be here. Yeah. And Kyle, uh, tell us just a little bit about uh, your, your, your story. Yeah, absolutely. So um, it was November 9, 2007, and just to paint this picture, you know, stories like Leroy's are incredible, um, you know, just to be associated with you know, people like him, it's uh, it's an honor. But, you know, in, in his act, it's a, it's a culmination, but it was a, almost a singular event where he made a decision, you know, reacted, and, um, you know, that, that decision saved lives. Uh, for me, it's kind of a, my event on November 9, 2007, is kind of a culmination of multiple things. And so, well, I'd love to go into the details of, of that day. You know, it's, it spans multiple hours, but for, <clears throat> you know, the audience, we were returning from a Shura meeting, which is basically the equivalent of like a local city council meeting, and we were ambushed uh, in the afternoon. And so they got us in the perfect spot, wide open, with the sun setting in our in our eyes. And so, you know, they had every advantage, and they cut the patrol in two when they initiated the contact. Um, and <clears throat> what they credited me for and what they say I earned the Medal of Honor for is uh, saving one soldier's life that was with us and attempting to save a Marine that was attached to us. And so, um, you know, it kind of happened, again, over the span of a couple hours, but uh, I, you know, applied a tourniquet, um, every tourniquet I could to the guys that were wounded, um, ended up having to fashion one out of a belt um, to stem the bleeding of one of my soldiers that was injured. And then after nightfall, it was coordinating, you know, air support, medical evacuation, and, you know, ultimately getting everybody out of there that day. And so, um, again, you know, we're, we're kind of briefly just touching on these stories, but there's some, you know, excellent coverage out there. If you go to the U.S. Army's website, you know, type in our names, Leroy Petrie and, and Kyle White, you can see some excellent things called battlescapes that really walk you through and, and give you maps and interviews from other people that are with us on that day um, and help you get a more complete understanding. I encourage people to do so. You could also go to uh, www.cmohs.org and find other Medal of Honor stories and all of their info and what we do in the communities and to continue the mission. Well, it, it is an important mission and as they were our nation's you know, highest honor for valor, uh, they're, they're really continuing the mission of, of serving veterans uh, throughout the country. And that's one of the things that we really like about the partnership with Case Knives is the ability to really partner with an iconic company that kind of shares the values of the Congressional Medal of Honor Society and also the Medal of Honor. So we can't we can't thank you guys enough for everything that you guys do, not only for the, the military, but also uh, the Congressional Medal of Honor Society. Thank you very much.